Capernaum was a small town beside the Sea of Galilee, chosen by Jesus as the center of his ministry. Many of the miracles attributed to Jesus took place in this quiet fishing village. The synagogue at Capernaum is among the oldest in the world. In the early 1900s, the land of Israel was desolate and empty, largely a desert. Centuries of abuse had robbed the land of its forests, vegetation, and natural beauty. In 1901, Karen Kayamet Le Israel Jewish National Fund was established and began raising money to purchase tracts of land throughout their ancient homeland. As the guardians of the land of promise, they have now planted over 250 million trees and developed the land in many other ways. KKL JNF also located researched and restored many of Israel's unique archaeological and historical sites. The land flowing with milk and honey is being restored to its former beauty. In the territory of the tribe of Naphtali, the Gospel Trail follows the historical routes that Jesus was likely to have taken when he left Nazareth, the home of his childhood, for Capernaum on the northwestern shore of the Sea of Galilee. KKL JNF developed the Gospel Trail in cooperation with the Israel Ministry of Tourism. According to the New Testament, Capernaum is a place where Jesus powerfully healed, delivered, and taught in the synagogue during his ministry. Matthew records that it was here in Capernaum that Jesus called many of his disciples, telling them, Come, follow me, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. The beautiful white synagogue, partially reconstructed of dressed stones, is the highlight of the remains at Capernaum. At Capernaum, a remarkable monumental building was uh, excavated, identified as a synagogue. It's built of white limestone, unusual because all of the houses, all of the buildings of Capernaum were built out of black basalt stone, so it would have stood out. It dates from the 4th or 5th centuries uh, AD, based on the dating evidence which has been found here. But there are remnants of an earlier synagogue, which were uncovered beneath the floors. It's a monumental building made of uh, basalt, but it dates back to the time of Jesus. The synagogue in Capernaum was more than a place where Jesus taught. It was also the scene of many of his miracles. The New Testament recounts the stories of physical healings and deliverances in both the synagogue and the towns that surrounded it. Word of Jesus' ministry spread through the entire region. People came, drawn by stories of miracles and powerful teaching. The Gospel of Luke recounts, at sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various kinds of sickness, and laying his hands on each one, he healed them.